You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing SmackDown from February 6th. Yeah. Yeah. So Smackdown, Smackdown happened. Smackdown. Yeah. No, it wasn't that bad. Well, it definitely seen worse shows. It just it seemed to be paced strangely because there was a lot of like backstage stuff. And we have over a month till the next pay per view. Mm-hmm. So we're so at that that, that nice, slow burn. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, the show opened with Shane coming out, and to uh, at least in my opinion, I'm like, oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Well, last night we got a nice match to start the show, and mm-hmm. then this week we get... Shane. Yeah. Sad. Or this week, this today. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's this week's show. Yeah, that, that is true. once a week. So. Fair enough. <clears throat> so, basically, Shane says that he thinks that uh, Owens and Zayn don't deserve title shots, but mm-hmm. normally he would be okay with the, the main event of them two. Yep. I, don't, I don't quite understand why he needed to say that. But, he, would, he wants to see them tear each other apart, but he doesn't think they should be rewarded for. Yeah, I guess I guess that's what he was getting. At. Yeah, I, I suppose. Um, and then he says that he believes that there is somebody who does want to mm-hmm. see them have title shots, though, yeah. which is Daniel Bryan. Yeah, and he calls Daniel Bryan out. Mm-hmm. Um, Bryan comes out. Um, he says that this is the land of opportunity, reiterating yep. the same old stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, and then he says that, obviously, Daniel Bryan's not listening to what the fans want. Mm-hmm. Um, then we get a Rusev Day chant. Well, yeah, yeah. of course, and then that's who they actually want. Yep. And then Shane says, duly noted. And we do know that Rusev is getting a U.S. title shot later on in the night. Yes, and we can only imagine how that's going to go. Yep. Anyway, um, <laughs> so... Daniel Bryan says that I am actually listening to what the fans want. And, you know, for that, I kind of deserve a pay raise Mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Um, And then uh, Shane goes, well, like, you were obviously a very uh, important wrestler when you were... Well, not, he didn't call him a wrestler. But you were very influential Influential. with um, the Yes movement. Mm -hmm. But the Yep movement is just a cheap imitation. And you are trying to basically live... Through Kevin and Sammy mm-hmm. with the Yep movement. Yeah, which I guess they've been planting the seeds of. Yeah. That, that, that's, kind of. Yeah. And they've definitely been suggesting it. Mm-hmm. Um, but at this point, AJ comes out and he says that it seems like St- uh, SmackDown management is uh, more interested or they keep on get is obsessed with... Uh, with uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Mm-hmm. And he thinks that it's best if they just leave it alone, let right. him take care of his own business, and yep. he'll face whoever wins. Yeah. He told them to stay out of the match tonight. I'll take care of it. Yep. So, uh, so yeah. Yep. And we go backstage, and the New Day are in the back with uh, all three of them, obviously. Yes. And they are answering uh, Twitter questions, mm-hmm. because apparently it's what, Ask the New Day, right? I guess the so. hashtag. Because they had nothing else mm-hmm. to do. So uh, and the, I think they were asked two questions in the segment. They were both about Corey Graves? Or no, at the, least first, one... the first one was a dumb, irrelevant oh, question. Okay. And the second one was, who do you, uh, was like, who's got the best jabs in the WWE? It, was that what it was? I or, think so. Yeah. Yeah, and, and because they didn't say anything about Booker or uh, Corey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was clearly a shot at uh, Booker T because he kept on se- or him and Corey Graves seemed to have gotten some heat since Booker was uh, released. Yeah. Or not released, but like removed from Raw. Yeah. Because uh, Booker seems to think that it's Corey Graves' fault that he's not on <laughs> Raw anymore, despite the fact that it's obviously Booker T's fault that he's not on Raw anymore. Hey. Um, I'm and- sure there's a million factors playing in. Well, I guess that's true, but the most obvious is the fact that he's a horrible, horrible commentator. It was entertaining, though. Yes, but for not for the not right for the reasons. right reasons exactly. Um, so, and uh, I think Booker T said something about uh, hitting him, hitting Corey with jabs if he saw him in the street or something like that. <laughs> Got into fisticuffs. Yeah. yeah. Um. And so that was the big. Oh, that was Big E taking a shot at Booker T. At least yeah. it seemed that way for yeah. the very least. Or like I said, they could cover it up because of. Big E and Corey, their little on stage thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. on screen thing. Yeah, because uh, Corey Graves has been had his ongoing war against Pancakes mm-hmm. recently. Um, it's been SmackDown's best feud. It's true. <laughs> well, it certainly has been. Uh, yeah. So we have AJ walking backstage, 
This and was actually yeah. Good. Shinsuke pops up and he obviously has to remind him that he's going to win at Mania, mm-hmm. and that was it. Yeah, that that was, that was the entirety of Shinsuke on the show. Mm-hmm. He just t- he reminded AJ that he's going to win at WrestleMania. Well, it, it was it was cleverly placed because AJ is so worried about mm-hmm. Kevin and, and Sammy, and then all of a sudden, you know, don't forget, I'm still here, AJ. Yeah. Don't forget so, about me. So it's them for once making sense of the fact that the match isn't going to take place for a couple months, where they don't even because a lot of the times they'll like shoehorn like Shinsuke into the feud right. when oh, he yeah. doesn't need to be. No, absolutely because from the current things that are happening that AJ is going to face Kevin or Sammy at Fast Lane, Fast Lane and just introducing Shinsuke in a little bit is, is perfect. That's yeah. the best way to do it because mm-hmm. once that's over, you can just go full-blown with the Shinsuke-AJ feud. Yep, exactly. Makes sense. Good mm-hmm. job, WWE. Sometimes you know what you're doing. Very rarely, but sometimes. Hey, it happens. Yes. So uh, up next, we have Liv Morgan against Charlotte. With yep. the entire Riot Squad at ringside, mm-hmm. um, we were discussing while watching that if any of these three came out individually, meaning uh, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, or Ruby Riot, there'd be nothing it at all really wrong with There's their characters. No character development for each one of them. It's just the group as a whole, yeah. and there's no development there. Yeah, it's all just very weak. I don't know booking. Yeah, but I mean, not even booking, but like writing. Yeah, yeah. Because they're so generic and they're just there to cause uh, trouble. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's so one dimensional, though, and there's so many different ways you can go about things. Yeah, so because they're strapped with this one thing, they kind of feel, uh, I guess, lost. Yeah. And you you kind of feel like right now they're just being used to fill time, which is pretty much the only. Thing that goes on in the SmackDown Women's yeah, Division. Yeah, this, this was the time. only segment with the women on SmackDown, and we had five on Raw mm-hmm. last night. It's true. Um, but, yeah, basically what happens is that the Riot Squad kind of get involved, even though they didn't, like, they didn't go after Charlotte, I don't think. They were just helping Yeah, well, Liv. I think they, did they get I up on the I could have sworn they apron? just, she just got kicked out because they threw Liv back into the ring. I, I thought they got up on the apron once or twice. Maybe, but they didn't actually, like attempt at charlotte no well yeah because sarah logan had gotten her attention charlotte mm. and then ruby pulled live out of the oh ring. yeah that's right yeah. And that's when she got they got kicked yeah out. so they get kicked out of the uh out of ringside mm-hmm. um and then obviously charlotte makes uh live tap out yep. to the uh figure eight that's it so that was no surprise there no nope. very uh inconsequential match didn't yeah. mean anything nothing came of it so i, I I mean, a, a big part of this is obviously the time between here and Mania. Here and Mania. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think, I wonder if they're still not sure what they're going to do. Yeah, with the whole women with Asuka, because. Or it's... what, how Ronda Rousey's going to play into the whole thing. Because supposedly she's around, but she hasn't been on TV. Yeah. Yet. It... So, who knows? It's weird with their. And, and it here. really does seem like the idea is to have Asuka face whoever is the Raw champion. Well, that's so, the way Kurt made it seem. Yeah. So that that would suggest that Ronda's going to face Charlotte. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. Yep. So we have a backstage interview where Renee goes up to, I guess, Kevin Owens' personal locker room. Mm-hmm. And uh, she asks him about the match and if this will affect his and Sami Zayn's relationship. And mm-hmm. Kevin kind of just says... Well, that's up to Sammy. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's a I very think... emotional time for Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. And then we have a Bludgeon Brothers match mm-hmm. where they seemingly destroy another set of oh, yeah. local enhancement talent. Mm-hmm. And as they are leaving, the Usos music plays, and they come out to the ring. Mm-hmm. They kind of give each other a stare. Uh, Harper holds Rowan back. Because Rowan's obviously a loose cannon. It's true. And, and I, I guess the only way that Harper can control him is by slapping him. Yeah. Because he does that in the matches all the time. It's really funny. So, obviously, these two are going to cross the paths. Uh, I would imagine so. This is probably going to happen at Fast Lane, right? Are we actually going to get some backstory on the Bludgeon Brothers? No. Are we going to get information here? No. They're just big, mean guys with hammers? Yes. 
You got all the information you needed in those vignettes. Harper, um, Rowan. I, I guess. That's it. That's all you need. It's You don't really need much. For Rowan, no, but I mean Harper could there's so much more they could do with his could. character development. I know. They could have kept him a single star. They could have put him in the match for the WWE title last year at WrestleMania. Did they? No. Exactly, because they don't they don't see it. I don't know why, because he's great. Don't they listen to the fans. They don't. They Shane's can say, a damn liar. They can say they do all they want. They most certainly do not. Yep. Um, anyway, mm-hmm. so we come up next. Well, yeah, the uh, Usos. While the Usos are in the mm-hmm. ring, um, they say basically that the Uso penitentiary is a state of mind and that they're in the heads of the rest of the tag team division. Mm-hmm. Um, they control everything that the rest of the division does. Yeah. Well, they, they need permission, the rest of the division, basically, mm-hmm. to do anything. Yeah, and they're just saying how they went from being the the colorful Usos to mm-hmm. be in the, the tough Usos and stuff like that. Yeah, they basically <laughs> said how they reinvented themselves, and it, it was good. It, I mean, it, it, it made really, sense. Yeah, it showed just what a difference a year makes and yeah. if creative just kind of i don't you know i don't know how much influence the usos had into this i would imagine that they had a good deal of influence on their mm-hmm. their like character because and, i mean even watching like total divas with the, they uh, act like they act right, on tv exactly now. yeah so um, or the ride along that's coming up oh, that that we saw yeah. this week and mm-hmm. i think coming up again right or no was that just that one there's just that it was one. just that one all yeah. right um so but yeah basically what this do- did was show anybody who didn't really know who the usos were right now it kind of mm-hmm. showed us showed them what they are yeah so we're gonna so, build them up just to be beaten by the bludgeon that's brothers. not gonna happen are you yeah. out of your mind no because they're gonna have the bludgeon brothers with the titles and then the authors of pain are gonna come in why i don't know it make any sense it doesn't have to make why sense. wouldn't you put the authors of pain on raw there's no other tag teams on raw Look, where, where, what are your sources? There's is this no just your crazy nonsense <laughs> coming out of your head? Yep. It's not going to happen. You are incorrect, sir. Well, what are you going to do with the Bludgeon Brothers? Uh, are they just going to fade into obliteration? Yes. It's true. That's what's going to happen. I so. guess so. Well, no. Just they'll... be like the Wyatt family. Yeah, pretty much. Well, coincidentally, they're the same people. Wow. <laughs> that is true. Um, yeah, so up next, we finally got to see the unveiling of the top 10 lists that mm-hmm. daniel ryan introduced last week right yep um uh, this is the most nonsense kayfabe crap i've ever heard this was this was something um so this was supposed dumb. to be a list i guess of superstars that were gonna get opportunity right no it said that this is the list of the top 10 superstars as voted by the superstars right. based off of how they were or how the, their in-ring matches but, and well, their backstage yeah, thing. They could have sworn they talked about something about capitalizing on opportunities. No, they said that depending on like this could influence opportunities in the future, but it doesn't necessarily oh, okay. mean like this is an order that they're going to get. No, 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 yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, so this is the list starting from ten to one. Uh, number ten was Ty Dillinger. Mm-hmm. You know the guy who's been on TV twice since coming up. And uh, he lost to Baron Corbin last week, and Baron Corbin wasn't on the list. Yep. Randy Orton, who wasn't on TV last week, uh, had a lackluster (laughs) performance at the Royal Rumble. Hasn't really done anything Mm -hmm. since uh, coming back last year. Or I should say since since jobbing to Jinder Mahal several times over the course of the summer. Um, Then you have Becky Lynch, who should be higher on the list. Um, but Even though she's done nothing as well, <laughs> exactly. But just based off of who she is, she should Her be heart. higher. Yeah, yeah. Um, then we have the Usos at number seven, the tag team champions at number seven, the hottest <laughs> tag team like in the WWE right now. Pretty much, they've gone over. Yeah, they went yeah, over the, the bar. You can't say the bar are hot because no. they keep on dropping the titles and picking them up again. Yeah. Um, and then number six, the New Day. <laughs> <laughs> who lost the titles to the Usos. Then you got number five, Bobby Roode, which makes sense. Number Bob four, Roode, get Bo- it right. Sorry, Bob Roode. <laughs> number four, Naomi, who also hasn't done anything anytime recently. And then we got Shinsuke, which makes sense, then right. Charlotte, then AJ. So the top three, at least, 
makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's so dumb. It, like, because clearly this was made up by writers. So what is the purpose of having them? What What is the purpose of this if it's not going to be people who are actually relevant? <laughs> Nothing came of this. The only mention of it was by the New Day later on in the night. No, it was a segment next. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they later and then on, they, yeah, they showed everybody's reactions on Twitter. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything because it doesn't affect the story because stuff happens on Twitter all the time and they don't really make too much me- mention of it. So, yeah. whatever. Yeah, <sighs> and then so we go backstage and we're still asking the New Day questions and somebody asks a question about their ranking and they said, you know, if the each individual member of the New Day was ranked, who would rank the highest? So they bickered back and forth. A that bit. was later. That was later? Mm. It, the three of them. Oh, mm. crap. There's well, t- too much of this yeah. nonsense. So what this one actually was, was the um, Xavier Woods, Kofi, and Big E were all just upset about the fact that they were number six. Oh, okay. As it, I thought it was one big segment. No, it yeah. wasn't. There was three Why? of them. Why? Yeah. So unnecessary. Yeah. So I, I mean, I understand it because the New Day are basically your... Oh, no, biggest no, attraction they, on they, SmackDown. They are the most over team. Yeah. But it doesn't change the fact that they just haven't been booked strongly lately, Tell which you. is the basis of what this is supposed to be. Yeah. So they could um, have just come down to the ring, picked up pancakes, threw them at Corey Graves, and then went to the back. That's it's, it. It's true. Uh, also, during this, uh, Biggie took another shot at Booker T. I can't remember exactly what he said, but he did take another shot at him. Yeah. Hell, hell, I don't even remember the segment, so I'm not going to remember what was said. It's true. <laughs> um, after that, we have a, a Rusev and Aiden English uh, mm-hmm. phone promo. Uh, Bob, uh, um, English basically says, Bob Rude, you are going to lose to then, Rusev yeah. on this glorious day of Rusev Day. And then we see Rusev working out. Mm-hmm. And he's all pumped up. And what does he just scream, like Machka or something? Yeah. So Rusev is ready to take the U.S. title. Mm-hmm. What was um, that? And then we get the match. Um, yes. So this match went through technically two commercial breaks. It did. We built up to the first commercial break with a bunch of rest holds and slow pace. And then we got through the second commercial, and we finally uh, started to pick up the pace. Yeah, And a then bit. we kind of got the end of the match. Yeah, yeah. They kind of um, uh, traded, I guess, trying to... Get their finishers off. Yeah, some, well, Rusev kind of doesn't really have a finisher. He's well, he was trying to put him into the act. I know, but I'm just yeah. saying, like, it's not necessarily him trying to. Yeah, I guess kind of. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, um, he was trying to put Rude yeah. into the act and then Rude rolled him up. And yes, then, yeah. there was some stiff machka, machka kicks and mm-hmm. such. Uh, but inevitably, Rude is able to hit the glorious DDT for the win. Yeah. Like I said, the match, it wasn't bad. It no, it was wasn't just, a bad match. Like, it was unnecessarily long. They could have just done another segment or have well, someone else on the show or yeah whatever. i mean it what didn't need to go through two commercial breaks yeah it's true um so after the match bobby Roode is celebrating mm-hmm. and strangely rusev and aiden english are also in the ring just in the corner yeah um and then the cameras at the hard camera and then you see someone enter the ring from the right side by the commentating <laughs> booth and then randy orton hits an rko mm-hmm. on bobby Roode. yep um, so I guess that'll be Bob Rude's next. Uh, well, let's, let's finish the segment and then okay, we'll talk I'm about sorry. it. And then he, he, he hits, he hits Rude and then he goes, English goes to run away, <laughs> but. And turns around and run toward, runs toward him. Yeah. And then he finally hits Rusev with an RKO. Mm-hmm. Now that that's done. Yes. Cause that was the end of the segment. Mm-hmm. I guess Randy Orton will be, uh, Bobby Rude's next opponent. Which I guess means that Randy Orton is officially a heel now, um, because it kind of seemed like he'd been moving towards that anyway. Yeah. Because you know all of his uh, RKOs out of nowhere, and right. the fact that he kind of just was all in on himself in the Rumble, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So uh, so yeah. I'm not really looking forward to Bobby Roode and. It's hard to Randy Orton match when both are meant to be heels Mm -hmm. Um, but neither are going to be betrayed this is basically wwe's idea here was all right we're gonna have bobby Roode go over the fans are gonna be pissed that rusev lost you know what let's throw randy orton out there hit an rko it'll distract them it 
that there's probably some truth to that that's for sure yeah um so up next we have a benjamin and gable phone promo Mm -hmm. um they have the fashion police's board with all their pictures on it yep and they basically just call them jokes them and the ascension jokes Mm -hmm. um and then they're going to destroy the ascension in the match that they have later on yeah it's just one of those you know easily edited videos just words popping up Mm -hmm. keywords i should say yeah and then we got the match right after it. Yep. Um, like you wrote in the notes, and I told you to write in the notes, at least the uh, Ascension got some offense. In. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. No. But, uh, Connor got the hot tag, right? No, it was, it was Victor. Victor. Victor got the hot tag, that's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, then that was quickly squashed. Yeah, so they they, hit he, their gets, he gets hit by that their tag team combo, finisher. Right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, that was it. That was that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have that final Twitter question mm-hmm. segment. And like you said, they were asked who or how they would rank individually. Xavier Woods goes, obviously, it should be the smartest. one who's the smartest. Yep. And then Big E says, oh, it should be the strongest one. Mm-hmm. And then they go, well, we put those together. It should obviously be Kofi. Yep. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Yeah. Well, they did say he's going to be at, uh, the WWE w- champion in 2019. So, is this 19 or 18? That's what they said. Uh, they said well, not because the the way that came up was after the Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. they uh, asked what their predictions were for 2019's oh, Royal Rumble. Okay. And they said something about Kofi will be the WWE champion in 2019. So I wouldn't be enter- enter- entirely surprised if he does have a short reign. I don't know. They don't really do that much anymore. But... Just because it's the new day, it's true. And but they they brought it up, so there could be some for, yeah I possible gotcha. like uh, chance that it could happen, mm-hmm. or it could be completely forgotten about. Right, it's definitely possible. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Yep. So, <laughs> Sammy is backstage where he gets. Well, hit. he's in Gorilla. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. He was. Which was Renee? Renee back there? Yeah, right? Renee yeah. came. Okay, up yeah, okay, that's what I thought. And uh, she asked him if he had any final comments before the match. Mm-hmm. And he said that, you know, this is my opportunity to jump out of Kevin's shadow, basically, since that's where he's been this whole yep movement. Yep. And then Kevin will stop at nothing to get the WWE title. Well, and... he he actually said his whole career. His whole career? Oh, yeah. okay. Fair enough. Yeah. That and... that was the big thing is yeah. that he was in Kevin's shadow his entire right, career. Right, because then he ran down all of Kevin's accomplishments, mm-hmm. universal title, yep. IC title, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And, uh, but yeah, he said that Kevin Owens will stop at nothing and neither will I. Yes. So, and that brought Sa- us to the main event. Sammy is in for the long haul. Mm-hmm. He wants to take him down and earn that title shot that he feels he deserves. Yeah. So, uh, up next, like you said, got the main event. Yeah. Uh, AJ Styles on commentary, who came out in between the two, which yeah. is weird. Sammy came out, we went to commercial, came back, and saw AJ sitting at the commentary desk. Mm hmm. And then Owens came out. Yeah, so dumb. Yeah. Uh, this match started off quite slow, but it's but, not a huge surprise. Yeah, it's going to build. Um, it did eventually build to quite a good match. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sami Zayn got in a lot of offense. He was looking mm-hmm. very good. Well, in the beginning, when Zayn was actually going after Owens, Owens told him to uh, right, stop going down. so hard. Calm yeah. down. Tell He tells the referee, tell him to calm down. Ah, uh, classic Owens. Yeah, he is always so good with that... Uh, the verbal stuff in the mm-hmm. ring um and uh so sammy hits a tilt a world ddt off the top ropes mm-hmm. he hits his uh through Blue. through oh. the um the middle rope on the outside ddt oh yeah, the, yeah, that right. moves the, awesome. yeah by the turnbuckle he did hit a blue thunder bomb mm-hmm. he he went for he went for an exploder suplex in the corner but owens didn't let him mm-hmm. um Owens went for the cannonball. Uh, that's when uh, actually Sammy picked him up and grabbed him into the exploder, but then, that didn't happen. Right. Um, and then eventually the two of them spill out to the outside, and Owens is like out. Yeah. <laughs> and then Sammy walks up, she's like, "See what I did? That's gonna it's be you." you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then AJ goes, "Yeah, I see him. Why don't you go finish, finish the him. match?" And Sammy's like still looking. He's like, "Look, you look at me when I'm talking to you." And then uh, yeah, he kind of grabbed AJ's chair and kind of pulled because I guess AJ was turned around talking to or a, f- a fan, fan or something yeah. like that. And then that's when AJ gets up, pushes Zane, punches him, punches Owens, and the ref throws away the match. Mm-hmm. 
So um, I guess at that point, we're like, oh, I guess we won't have a challenger. Yeah, because it was 9.58 at this point. Yeah. And then uh, over the over the the, uh, my, the loudspeaker, you hear, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, it was a very strange, around the strange ring. sound. Um, at first, I thought it was Shane. Yeah. Um, but it turns out it was Daniel Bryan. He comes out. He says, it's not happening that way. Because at Fastlane, it will be... Uh, they will both get title shots in a triple threat match mm-hmm. for your WWE championship. So it'll be Kevin Owens and Sa- or Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn versus, versus AJ Styles for the yep. WWE title at Fastlane. Yeah, that makes a hell of a lot more sense than a handicap. A well, the handicap match. Well, that's true. <laughs> or that a one on one. Yeah. So, but I mean, it makes sense to build from that to this. But, mm-hmm. yeah. And then this could lead to a match between Kevin and Sami at WrestleMania. Or have them be friends again and have a tag match at WrestleMania. One or the other. Well, you're going to have them in a tag match against. I don't know. Anybody? Bludgeon Brothers. That's what they're going to be doing. Okay. And you say my ideas are crazy. Well, it's better than yours. I guess so. Let's have them beat the Usos. Get, the, get out of here. Get out of here. You, mean you don't think it'll be for the tag titles? What? The Usos against the no, the Blood Brothers. Oh no, versus... they're gonna they're gonna face them. Oh, the Blood Brothers versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Oh no, that won't happen. <laughs> this is gonna be on the pre-show. It's gonna be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn against the Blood Brothers. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Why not? <laughs> okay. When was the last time Owens wrestled on the pre-show? Uh, probably much more recently than you think. When did they? When did him and Jericho wrestle Big Kiss and Enzo? It was at SummerSlam. Was yeah. that on the pre-show? No, that was the opening. It was the first match. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, honestly, I'm. I don't think he's ever been on the pre-show. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so unless he was in like a multi-man match that was on the pre-show, that would be the only way he'd be on the pre-show. Probably not, considering yeah. he made quite the statement when he first came in. It's true. Yeah. But oh well. All right. Let's let's finish this. All right. Yeah. So we have a, a while to go before fast lane. So mm-hmm. it's gonna be. It's going to be slow. Yeah, some filler here and there. Blah, yep. blah, blah. As, as so, long yeah. as we get some movement forward. That's true. But, yes, that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.